G'day and welcome to the start of our 2024 season. We're bloody excited this year guys because gold price hit record highs. We've just rocked up at the camp at the lease here. We're going to have a look inside. We haven't been here for a little bit so let's have a look inside and see what she looks like. See if anything's been pinched or not I guess. First impressions is everything looks good. The camp is not falling down anymore, so we'll go inside and see if there's any damage, see if anything's missing, eh? G'day, Nigel. G'day, Cobbers. Excited for the season? Big 2024. Do you reckon there's going to be any dangerous, deadly snakes in here? Look out for booby traps. All right, guys, it is good. Nothing's been touched. Barely got flooded. My TV's there, yes. Yeah, things are looking good. Camp's looking good. Hey, happy days, guys. Happy days. You know why? You, you want me to tell you why nothing got pinched from this camp? Because this isn't a TV show, mate. This is reality. <laughs> We're out here making a living. No one's going to come in and pinch all your stuff. Anyway, so we're back here now. It's been a while. Uh, we'll just have a bit of a poke around this Arvo. Sort of check on the dirt situation. Still got to fix that excavator at some point. But you know, first we got to go prospect and get some gold. So we'll have a look around, make sure everything's all good here, and then we'll bugger off and go get some gold. Stay tuned, should be fun. Well, it took me a while to get, but there's my first piece for 2024. Nigel's already got 11 or 12, so I'd be a bit of catching up to do. If I'm on the board. Woohoo! Well, we haven't found much gold yet. We've been doing a little bit of patch hunting. Now we're heading back into one of our normal spots. And I've already done a tire. $400 each. That sucks. Well, at this stage, we've been out here almost a week. And she's been a bit of a struggle, not going to lie. Taken me a while to dust the cobwebs off after the off season, I guess. So I've been struggling along, not really getting anything. And I found this little area yesterday where I got a few nuggets. Old vehicle scraping in the bush here that I haven't seen before. I got nine pieces yesterday. It's absolutely full of rubbish. But I'm going to get in there and just sift through it all and see what I can get. Now update from my last upload I said I was going to get a new hat and new boots well still haven't got a new hat still haven't got new boots hopefully this year I'll get a new hat and some new boots but now I need new tire as well so whatever better get started and start making some money I'll show you all I've found for the week it's not much I haven't even weighed it because it's pretty dismal so this is all the gold I've got for nearly a week. Not very good. Plus some species. Um, Nigel's creaming me at the moment with the gold. So I better pull my finger out and hurry up and catch up. So let's see if we can get a few this morning. So I found about nine nuggets today in here. They've all been pretty shallow. Sound like rubbish. And the place is trash so... Never know if they're going to be gold or just lead. Anyway, got a signal here. Now, given there's a little bit of depth to this one, I assume it's going to be gold. So, let's have a look. Definitely, probably gold. Probably, definitely.
Yeah, it's pretty small, but even at this size, we're still making some progress. Now, the other day when I was walking around, I noticed that this had been dug up and flattened. I assume someone got a gold reef here, right? So I've just walked in now, got one bit of reef gold, and got another signal in the hole. Um, so we'll chain over all this and uh, let's see what we can do. Hopefully that's another bit of gold in there. <coughs> With a bit of luck they didn't get all the reef and there's some left for me, that'd be nice. Signals everywhere. Let's find this one first. This one might be gold. He's already got one piece out of that hole. Second piece out of that hole, see what else we can get. I just found this big rock with the seven. I imagine it's got gold in it, so we'll take it back to camp, check it with the monster and clean it up and look for where the gold is. Cool. It's making a lot of noise, so hopefully a bit in it. 
I reckon I'm gonna have to head back to camp in a minute, put a couple of beers in the fridge because she's looking like a good day. And uh, it's a lazy Sunday, which normally are always good, so got a bit of a signal here. And it's down a ways, <coughs> and it's near them reef holes, so hopefully it's a continuation. Yeah, baby, here we go. Big, but it's alright. There you go. Better do a bit of chaining up here after a bit of a break. Well, at the moment, guys, I'm running in difficult. It's only two times I run in difficult, and that's when either the ground's too noisy or the hot rocks annoy me too much. But in this case, the ground's too noisy. Um, I've got one little nugget, I've been doing some chaining. Oh, it's a good bit of a signal in here. Oh, that sounds very interesting. My battery's not looking too flash, so I'll pop this out and see what we got. Alright, whatever it was, it's in the scoop. Beautiful, keep chaining and hopefully turn up some more. We need a big chunk at the moment and I got a signal that sounds like a big chunk. Alright, fingers crossed. We want it to stay in there for a little bit, but I tell you what, if this is gold it's gonna be a hell of a bit. Fingers crossed. Oh, shivers. I'm excited.
Let me just save a bit of battery until I get a bit closer, I guess. All right, we got it out. Um, wasn't much further away. I've only got three little nuggets chain in this spot, so yeah, fingers crossed. Let's have a look. Look at that! That's fing huge! Yeah, baby! We're fing eating well now! Alright, guys, me and this bloke here, we've been struggling because flies, heat, heat, what wind, else? Wind, <laughs> wind, fing all gold. I mean, that doesn't help. Hey, bit, bit hard to get onto this year. It has been. So we haven't seen any prospectors, which is weird with gold being around $115 a gram or something like that. It was 120 the other day. But um, there's no one out here looking for it. And don't really blame them because too many flies and it's a bit hard to find, you know. You gotta do a lot of walking, so don't know if it's really worth it anymore these days. <laughs> hey. Well, if you can't get on it, it's not start to feel like that to be honest anyway nigel's been um he was nailing me with the six you guys might have noticed in the video i was struggling a bit you didn't see any chunks until just that last little little piece i dug up but anyway now nigel was pushing for a way up before that because he wanted to be in front but didn't happen i noticed you kept delaying it well i was trying i was just trying to get in front quickly but it's a good thing I did. Mission accomplished. It's now I'm in front. And we have this big dog. Look at that. Sluggo. It's over ten thousand dollars right there. Some people say, you know, you spend ten thousand dollars on a metal detector and all this money on fuel and you only find little bits of gold. But that's not always how it works. Anyway, let's have a look. Nigel. Nine species, 113 specks, <laughs> nah, 113 nuggets, not bad. He had the biggest nugget for ages, even till today, because I was struggling hard. Like, the monster produced biggest nuggets for me until today. Anyway, here's my tally, 46 nuggets. You take this one away, I might as well have just stayed at home. I mean, honestly. It's still decent wages, even without it. No, it is decent <laughs> wages without it, to be honest. At this price, that's not bad. It's been a hard slog, but, you know, it can't all be fun and games anymore. There aren't camping trips anymore like they used to be. Like they never were. They bloody always were. Anyway, um, how many species did I get? I got 13. I got these little ones. You can see a bit of gold there. From the bloody gold monster. A little bit of reefy stuff there, right? And then this big dog, which is just blasting, but we'll have to find out what's in there because can't see anything. Anyway, we'll chuck them on the scales, see how she went. I mean, it was a pretty close call. Well, not really. Nigel was in front of me for weight, not gonna lie. But now, we don't even have to weigh them separately to know who won out of the six and the seven. All right, let's get him on the scales. All right, guys, this is all the gold. Little Nigel's there. As you can see, mine's a little bit heftier. Just a little short on numbers. Yeah, sometimes numbers don't matter. I mean, I chuck this one back. All right, let's uh, oh, let's just put on this small. Sh 
the uh, SDC uses fines. Nah, just kidding. Just kidding, guys. SDC is good machine. All right, so for a week and a half, or about a week and a half, we got 37.21 grams. And then because I'm a genius, we ended up with pretty much four ounces. So can't complain with that. We'll take 119 grams. Oh, let's call it 118 because we're going to lose a gram at least out of that big one. We'll call that 118 for about a week and a half. I mean, guys, that's good dollars. You can't complain. Plus the species. Plus the species. Plus, Plus the, the species. species. Smash the dog. Guys, that puts us over four ounces. I mean, that's pretty much double what we normally make. Until this afternoon, it was it was looking really I'm not even gonna lie, we're not sugarcoating or anything. Uh, I was real enthusiastic at the start, and then when I found out how hard it was to find the bloody gold this year, I got a little bit less enthusiastic. And now that we're already well in front, I'm bloody well enthusiastic, mate. So here we go. Stay tuned for the next one, guys. Let's get it! <laughs>